In the upper left part of the screen is shown the C major scale, which, as we have seen in several theory videos, can be considered as the mother of all scales, and has the privilege of using only natural notes, so it does not require key signature. We have also seen that if you start this scale at its sixth degree you get the natural minor scale of A, which shares with it this privilege. Pay attention to the sequence of intervals shown above this scale, which defines its construction. This scale is reproduced next. In the upper right part of the screen is shown a chord progression using the C major chord built on the first degree of the C major scale, tonic, the F major chord built on the fourth degree of this scale, subdominant, and the G major chord built on the fifth degree, dominant. These three chords have been chosen because, as we have seen in several previous videos, they are the generating chords of this scale, and also in the tonal composition system these three chords are the main ones to fulfill, respectively, the tonic, subdominant, and dominant functions, which correspond to the points of rest, the points of moderate tension, and those of maximum tension, which help to shape a musical composition. The incorporation of these tension and rest points is one of the fundamental aspects of the tonal composition system. Let's listen to the chord progression. We will use the short musical phrase shown below the scale to illustrate its use. This phrase starts on the note G corresponding to the fifth degree, dominant. Notice that on the note A of the third note, corresponding to the sixth degree, there is a pause, but it is felt that the phrase is unfinished. Also notice that the B of the sixth note, corresponding to the seventh degree, in conjunction with the C of the seventh note, corresponding to the eighth degree, tonic, produce the sensation that this phrase has been concluded. The name leading is used in the English language to name this note because one has the sensation that one must return to the tonic. This sensation is due to the proximity of a semitone between the two notes. Next we will repeat the musical phrase, but now harmonized. The progression used in the harmonization concludes in the cadence constituted by the chords G major and C major corresponding to the fifth and first degrees. This cadence is called perfect and is the best way to conclude a piece by returning to the tonic. It therefore occupies an important place in the theory. The display shows the natural minor scale of A relative to the major scale of C and its generating chords. These chords correspond to the same degrees as those used in the harmonization of the C major scale and perform equivalent functions. Note that the third degree, mediant, is flattened, therefore it has an extension one semitone smaller than its corresponding major. It is this decrease of a semitone that imprints on this scale a different, minor, nature from that of the major scale. Note that also the sixth, submediant, and seventh, subtonic, degrees are flat, and contribute to differentiate this scale from its relative major. This scale is reproduced next. Let's listen to the minor chord's progression. We will use the short musical phrase shown below the natural minor scale to illustrate its use. This phrase starts on the note E corresponding to the fifth degree, dominant. Notice that on the F of the third note, corresponding to the sixth degree, there is a pause, but it feels that the phrase is unfinished. Also notice that the G of the sixth note, corresponding to the seventh degree, in conjunction with the A of the seventh note, corresponding to the eighth degree, tonic, produce the sensation that this phrase has been concluded, but that this sensation is not as strong as in the case of the C major scale, since now the final notes are separated by a tone, so. 
that the note G is subtonic instead of leading. To emphasize this fact, in the indication of the sequence of intervals corresponding to this scale, the last interval has been enclosed in a red box. Next we will repeat the musical phrase, but now harmonized. The progression used in the harmonization concludes in the cadence constituted by the chords E minor and A minor, corresponding to the fifth and first degrees. We do not have now a perfect cadence, since the chord E minor does not have the leading note G sharp, but the subtonic note G. Therefore the sense of culmination is not as marked as in the phrase used for the C major scale. The screen shows the A harmonic minor scale, in which the note G corresponding to the seventh degree of the scale has been raised by one semitone to obtain the leading note G sharp, and thus to have a more conclusive final cadence than in the case of the natural minor scale. Note that, as a consequence of this change, the third chord used in the chord progression used in the harmonization is now the E major chord. Harmonic minor scales do not have their own key signature but use the key signature of their corresponding natural minor scales. Their accidentals are shown directly on the staff, which helps to identify them. To the right of the scale are shown the chords used to harmonize the musical phrase adapted to this scale. This scale is reproduced next. Let's listen to the chord progression that we will use in its harmonization. We will use the short musical phrase shown below the harmonic minor scale to illustrate its use. This phrase starts on the note E corresponding to the fifth degree, dominant. Notice that on the F of the third note, corresponding to the flatted sixth degree, there is a pause, but it feels like the phrase is unfinished. Also note that the G-sharp of the sixth note, corresponding to the seventh degree, in conjunction with the A of the seventh note, corresponding to the eighth degree, tonic, produce a greater sense of completion than that of the phrase used for the natural minor scale. Next we will repeat this musical phrase, but now harmonized. The progression used in the harmonization concludes in the cadence constituted by the chords E major and A minor corresponding to the fifth and first degrees. It does not end now in a perfect cadence, since the last chord, although corresponding to the first degree, is minor, however, the feeling of conclusion is now more accentuated than in the case of the natural minor scale, since the E major chord has the note G sharp, leading of A. Although raising the note G by one semitone to make it leading has resulted in a more conclusive final cadence, it has increased the size of the penultimate interval to tone plus semitone, larger than the maximum size of the tone considered convenient for practical scales. To highlight this fact, in the indication of the sequence of intervals corresponding to the scale, the penultimate interval, tone plus semitone, has been enclosed in a red box. The following scale solves this problem. The lower part of the screen shows the A melodic minor scale, in which the note F corresponding to the sixth degree of the harmonic minor scale of A has been raised by one semitone and is now F sharp. This decreases the interval between the fifth and sixth degrees by one tone. This scale inherits the conclusive resolution of the chromatic scale. Note that since the alterations introduced in its ascending portion are intended to obtain an interval that gives a sense of conclusion, and this objective has already been fulfilled by the time it reaches the octave of the tonic, these alterations are not necessary in the descending portion of the scale, so it has been chosen to descend in the same way as for the natural minor scale. 
This descent with a sequence of notes that is not the inverse of the sequence of notes in the ascent is a unique characteristic of this scale. Like harmonic minor scales, melodic minor scales do not have their own key signature, but use the key signature of their corresponding natural minor scale. Their accidentals are shown directly on the staff, which helps to identify them. Note that the sequence of intervals shown above the scale refers only to the ascending part. Note that none of the intervals have been highlighted in it, that is, it is considered satisfactory. In the harmonization of the musical phrase adapted to this scale, the same set of chords is used as for the chromatic minor scale phrase. The F note of this phrase only serves a melodic function. This scale is reproduced below. Let's listen to the chord progression used in the harmonization of the musical phrase. What is shown on the screen is a useful summary of the process of generating minor scale types starting from the C major scale. We will temporarily abandon it to present a musical phrase for the melodic minor scale, but we will return to it to conclude this video. We will use the short musical phrase shown below the melodic minor scale to illustrate its use. This phrase starts on the note E corresponding to the fifth degree, dominant, and uses an F sharp as the first note of the second measure, while in the version of this melody for the chromatic scale the note F was used. Next we will repeat this musical phrase, but now harmonized. Despite the change of the first note of the second measure from F to F sharp, the harmonization of this measure is maintained by means of the D minor chord. It is common for melodies in minor keys to alternate between the three types of minor scales described. Let's go back to the summary of the types of minor scales. As we have mentioned, what is shown on the screen constitutes a useful summary of the process of generation of the types of minor scales. If we look closely we can see that the sequences describing the conformation of intervals were transformed from the one corresponding to the natural minor scale, to resemble more and more the sequence corresponding to the major scales. In fact, if we interchange the second and third intervals of the melodic minor scale we obtain the A major scale, with its three sharps. In this return to the summary of the process of obtaining and using minor scales, we have replaced the C major scale by the A major scale, to show what has been said. This demonstrates the enormous influence that the major scale has had in the process of creating music in Western culture. In the video Major and Minor Modes of the Diatonic Scales, whose link is given in the description, the seven modes obtained from the seven notes of the major scale, existing since the times of the rise of Greek culture, are listed. The major, or Ionian, is the predominant one in Western culture, followed to a lesser degree by the Aeolian, minor mode. These are the only two modes used in the melodies incorporated into this channel. The others were practically abandoned for centuries, and are only recently being used again as a source of melodic and harmonic variation. However, anyone interested in creating music using these modes should be aware that difficulties will have to be overcome in their application, as was necessary to keep the minor mode in force. With this video we have completed the presentation of most of the concepts of music theory that we will need in the future in this channel, and we are able to move on to the study of harmony. Thank you for watching this video, we hope you enjoyed it and that in conjunction with the other videos dedicated to music theory it has provided you with knowledge that you will find useful.